Oh, it's so good to be free. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Homestead Challenge. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Homestead Challenge. Today I am filming a what I eat in a day pregnant mom of a toddler edition. First little disclaimer here, this is not a what you should eat in a day. This is what I actually eat in a day. And no, Starbucks is not very homesteady. But for some reason Starbucks refreshers are all I crave and all to get me through the sickness that is the beginning of pregnancy. Yeah, so I do have some fun things that I'm cooking today. Um, I didn't plan for them to be extra fun. This is just what we happen to be having today. Car, car, car. car drove by, yes. So normally for breakfast we have some scrambled <laughs> eggs and sausage. <laughs> Prior to pregnancy I always <laughs> had <laughs> avocado toast to go along with it, but I'm having strong aversions to avocado right now. <laughs> So we're gonna skip that and we'll give Jack some fruit, but I'll probably just have the eggs and sausage. Full disclaimer here, I'm the kind of pregnant person who actually needs to eat more in order to not feel sick. And no, no one when they're pregnant really needs to eat more. I think they recommend like 200 extra calories a day, which is like nothing in my book. But if I don't eat, I feel sick. So this morning, I already had a bowl of cereal. So yes, when I'm pregnant, I eat a second <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Overall, I do try to eat a little bit healthier. I um, was, you know, when I was really sick, I was mostly eating like carbs and things like that because that's all that I could get down. Um, yes, but now I'm at the point in pregnancy where I'm craving vegetables. So we'll have some vegetables too, <laughs> but apparently not at breakfast. And I usually am a coffee drinker, but I can't stomach coffee right now either. Not on the burger, hot to the touch. Today I'm going to be making most things from scratch, but there's definitely a lot of things that do come prepackaged. It's all about balance, especially while you have a household of screaming children and when you're pregnant. So today I am 14 and a half weeks, I think, so I got a little bump going on. But full disclosure, some of that bump is definitely me eating more and not just all bumped, but that's okay. We can just pretend that it's all baby right now. Hopefully I will be back with you in a few hours for a little bit more interesting <laughs> and perhaps a little bit quieter lunch. See you in a little bit. It is now about 1130 and I just put Jack down for his nap, which is why I'm not going to be too loud, hopefully. Um, I have big plans for dinner tonight, so I got to get started on it now where you're going to be having pulled pork. And I have a way in the oven that I make it that is my absolute favorite. The recipe is from this Eat Delicious cookbook. It's Dennis the Prescott. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you should. It's like probably one of my favorite Instagram food accounts, but uh, everything that he makes is really, oh, that was sticky. <laughs> really my kind of food. Pulled pork, probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but man, do we love it. So I'm going to be preparing this before I have some lunch. Um, Jack won't wake up until like 1.30 ish and that's usually too late for me to eat lunch now that I am pregnant. I get like really woozy if I don't eat in time. So I will be eating as soon as we make this. But yeah, this cookbook is so fantastic. And this is a picture of the plan for today. About half the time I make my own barbecue sauce to go with it. After this morning with Jack being a little bit cranky, if you didn't notice, I don't know if I have it in me today. I do also buy whatever organic barbecue sauce is at my store at the time. As you 
can tell I don't measure very much. I just like to mix this up. All this is doing is kind of creating a dry rub for the pulled pork. Um, you might have noticed I use the Frontier Spices. They are my favorite. I mean, first of all, they're adorable. But most of them are organic. Um, not all of them are. It depends what you're getting, and you can usually get an organic version of a lot of them. But uh, also they're sustainably sourced, which is pretty important to me. So that is always a good option. But on top of it, I usually buy, so like if I need a new spice, I'll have like one of these jars. And then if it's a spice that I use really often, they also have big bags of stuff. So this is my chili powder here. Um, and that'll just refill it. So I'm going to refill that now because I also need a little bit more in here. Then I'm going to rub the pork and we are going to sear it before we put it in the oven. So my oven is preheated to 425. I am waiting for this to heat up. I'm going to sear my pork butt and then I'm going to put it right in the oven and as soon as I put it in the oven I am going to bring it down to 325 and it's going to stay there for six and a half to seven and a half hours. That's actually a little long. I've done it for less and it's still been perfectly fine. Um, I think I usually buy a little bit smaller pork butt because we are only a family of three but we do eat this for leftovers for days. So I'm going to start searing this. I do have to turn on the fan because we live in military housing so our fire alarms are very sensitive, which is a good thing, but anytime I sear pork or make bacon, they like to go off. And if I wake up the baby, I will be very sad about it. So I will see you in a minute. After I'm done searing it, I actually have one more secret that's part of this recipe. Let's see, pour in a little bit of Coke. I actually don't 100% know what this does. I don't know if it makes the meat more tender or if it just helps it not stick to the pan as much. This does make a very messy pan, by the way very, very sticky pan. But uh, I've always done it just by the recipe and it is seriously like some of the best pulled pork ever. So definitely check out Dennis the Prescott. So you've probably already heard of him, but one of my all-time favorites. So now it's time for me to eat lunch and I'm actually going to be eating pasta salad. As I said, I've been craving vegetables so much lately that this is so good. I don't like regular salad. I am a terrible adult and I still can't eat lettuce. My whole life I've never been able to do it. I'm okay with like other greens too, like spinach is okay. I could have a spinach salad, but I don't, I don't like it really. I mean, I can get spinach down, but, and like microgreens I'm okay with. Uh, every once in a while I'll do like arugula if it's on something, but no lettuce for me. And I also don't like just dipping vegetables, like. I'll eat raw red peppers and stuff, but like I hate ranch dressing, so I'm not going to dip them in ranch. So a good way for me right now to get my vegetables is pasta salad and uh, tacos, fresh salsa. <laughs> so as I said, this is definitely not a recommendation of what to eat while you're pregnant, but just what I happen to be eating right now. I actually did make up this pasta salad recipe, so I will include a link to it below. I'll do a little mini recipe on the blog for it. It's a zesty version and I just put in all the vegetables that I like in it and the glorious thing about this kind of thing is you can just put in whatever you like or if it's a little bit later in the season whatever you have in your garden. So that's what I'm hoping to do later this year but we're not quite there yet. All right so the second part of dinner tonight is going to be a homemade coleslaw. I've never made this version before. Usually I do make my own coleslaw but normally I just make a plain kind. This one's called California coleslaw. I found it on Pinterest. I will link this recipe below as well. Um, basically, it's coleslaw, but it also has onions and peppers, which are two things that I love the most <laughs> as far as vegetables go. But typically when I make coleslaw, I buy a thing of cabbage. Uh, if we were a bigger family, I would make the whole thing into coleslaw. But because we are not, and because we will not go through it all, I typically make half of this into coleslaw, and then I will add salt to the other half and just make it into sauerkraut. That's probably what I'll do today. I'm going to see how far it gets me. Because it has other vegetables in it too, I definitely think that I'll make the other half into sauerkraut. So stay tuned. We'll see if I do that or not.
So it sounds like Jack might be waking up. I'm hoping he goes back to sleep, but if not, I'm gonna have to stop here. I might just dress this later. But look how pretty this looks. If I had purple cabbage as well, that would make it even prettier. So if you do, definitely use some of that. But it's currently undressed. The cool thing about this coleslaw is actually that the mixture has sour cream and mayo in it. I've never made it a coleslaw dressing like that. So I'm interested to see, I think it's just gonna be a little bit more Southwestern zesty version of a coleslaw, but that's feeling pretty good for it being late spring here in Southern Alabama. We will see, I'm going to try to continue and wish me luck. So I think Jack went back to sleep. So I decided to make the sauerkraut for now. Um, all I do is shred my cabbage I'm going to mix about a tablespoon of salt in here, work it in with my hands, and then I let it sit out on the counter for about 45 minutes, and then I press it into my mason jar. I put it, um, press it down as hard as you can. I have glass weights, and then I let it sit. About a week is how we typically like our sauerkraut. If you're doing a very big batch, you'll want it to go longer. This is gonna fit into like one of those 32 ounce um, mason jars, just like the straight, uh, wide mouth kind. So that is what I typically do. We love using sauerkraut. Um, we have brats pretty regularly, so I love to eat it with that. And actually Jack sometimes does eat sauerkraut too. Uh, not always, but a lot of the time, which is pretty cool. That was probably too much salt, but we really like our salty, which is personal preference. And that's literally it for how you make sauerkraut. So some of these things, um, you know, that homesteaders get made fun of for like sourdough and all the fermented goods, um, actually don't take that long. Canning and stuff is another story. I have not canned yet. So if you want to challenge me to learn how to can, leave a comment below with emojis for what you think that I should learn how to can this year. I'm gonna put this uh, to the side and I'm going to dress the coleslaw. Then I'm gonna have to do the dishes because I know he is going to wake up soon. Unfortunately, that means I don't think I'm gonna to get to make the barbecue sauce today. Gotta to respect the, that nap time hustle. So I'm trying. <laughs> So I'm going to finish all this up and I will see you later for dinner. I'm going to also make corn on the cob then. And that's going to be pretty much it. So I will talk to you later tonight. I really hope you are enjoying so far. Don't forget if you are interested in more videos on beginner homesteading, watching real life here obviously as you saw this morning um, of someone who doesn't live on a traditional homestead but is really trying and always trying to learn new skills at home please hit that little subscribe button and even that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. That would really help me out. Uh, All right, Bubba, you want to help me make sauerkraut? Baby. You want to help me make sauerkraut? Can you hold this? All right, you ready for this? We're going to put it in here. Now I need you to put this in here and smush it. Can you smush it? We are taking a little park break, so no snacks for me quite yet this afternoon, but if I eat anything else, I'll let you know. I just wanted to take a quick break to say something, which I know I probably have already talked way too much in this video, 
But I hope that this is encouraging and not discouraging to mothers out there or those who are pregnant or those with lots of people to take care of or something. Um, you can't always get it all done. As you can see, I got almost everything done today, but not quite everything. I didn't get to finish cleaning up. I didn't get to make barbecue sauce, which really isn't a big deal. That's why these days we are very lucky to have pre-made barbecue sauce. Um, Jack woke up a little cranky again. I think he's just not feeling good and we all have bad days. So yeah, it's okay that we have bad days, but we're just getting outside because that usually resets everybody and makes everybody in a better mood, at least while we are outside. So we're trying that for now, but I just wanted to encourage you to keep on trying. There are days like today when I can get some things like that done. He took a decent nap, which was really, really a blessing. Um, I know that a lot of people can cook with their toddlers awake. I am not really one of those people. I wish that I was, but for me, that doesn't always work out. Um, you know, I could do some things, but it's really better for me to do as much as I can, uh, while he's occupied and he does play independently pretty well. So if I have a shorter meal to cook at night, it's no problem, but something that's a little bit more involved, I kind of need my alone time and that could be my problem too. Uh, I don't really do well with a lot of background noise while I'm trying to concentrate on things. But anyway, um, so I just wanted you to know that not every day is like today. Some days we have to order takeout and that is absolutely okay. You know, we're trying to live this from scratch life, but luckily we are blessed enough to live in this world today that does have conveniences such as takeout. Um, you know, if you are trying to be healthier there are a lot of takeout options that are healthier and worst case scenario sometimes we just got to get outside and then uh, hopefully our outside time will cancel whatever kind of takeout or fast food we do have to get to survive that day so like i said this is you know i probably cook an involved meal like this once a week but it's not every every day for sure and we just do what we can so i hope that that is encouraging to you to know that if you're feeling like you can't get anything done you are not alone um and just really celebrate those days when you can get some stuff done and if you can get something homemade in then that is awesome and that is a reason to celebrate <laughs> hi everyone it is now dinner time and i just started pulling the pork and i forgot to show it to you before i started pulling it but here it is. I told you this was gonna be a messy pan, but everything is just falling right off. It's falling right apart. It all fell right off this bone here. Today has been a little rough to say the least. I was going to make corn on the cob with this, but I don't even have that in me. So we will be using the um, pre-made barbecue sauce and not having another side. I don't know yet if I'm gonna put this in a taco. I honestly don't even feel like heating up tortilla shells. I think we're just gonna eat it as is. Pork, coleslaw, and barbecue sauce. Sounds like a full meal to me. All right, everyone, so it is now dinner time. As I said, I had planned on making more. I wanted this to be a happy, colorful plate. Now it's mostly just meat, but I'm kind of fine with that right now. We're a little tired. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dad didn't make it home in time for dinner, but he will have some delicious pork waiting for him. When he gets home from work, it has been just one of those days, but hey, I like to keep things real here on the Homestead Challenge. So like I said before, I know I mentioned it earlier in the video, I don't want that to bring anybody down that we didn't get it all accomplished today. I just want it to be encouragement for you. I really, I love solidarity and that feeling and um, motherhood can be really tough. Um, being a stay at home mom or even a stay at home spouse with no kids can be tough sometimes you just don't know where the time goes and sometimes you just can't get it all done but i'd say overall dinner looks delicious i am excited to eat it and i will see you guys next week with a new video don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and comment below if you're going to try out any of these recipes i will have all of them linked in the description box below whether they are mine or not until next time cheers Oh, it's so good to be free.
Your rules don't apply to me, no.